Hi, I'm Maimon. Welcome back to one of my auto repair videos and to a review video. And in this video, this is a continuation of our videos on the uh, Viva Home vacuum pump kit and a continuation from the previous video on the manifold gauge set right here. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the vacuum pump and trying to operate it. So let's get right to it. Okay, so like I said in the previous video, this is $130 on Amazon, the entire kit. And uh, if you're interested, go check out my previous video on the manifold gauge set. Very, very cool set. And this video, we're going to be talking about the vacuum pump, which is used to drain the system of air, to pump the air out of the AC system of your car. So first off, this is what, actually, let me just rotate it so you can get it better in the sunlight. This is what the vacuum pump looks like. You can see it says vacuum pump on the side. Um, let me just take it out here. It also comes with vacuum pump oil. From protectors. It comes with a how, oh wait, that's not relevant yet. And it also comes with the manual at the very bottom. We thought there was no manual, but thankfully there is. We're going to take a look at this manual off camera. But, I mean, this is pretty much it. This is the vacuum pump that we're going to be using to take all the air out. And, okay, let me just give you a 360 view. So, actually on this side, they have the specifications of this rotary pump, uh, this uh, vacuum pump. It's a one-stage vacuum pump. Um, 110 volts, which that's not really important. Uh, one-third horsepower. Motor speed is 144, one, 1440 rounds per minute or RPM. Oh, flow rate. Okay, so this has a flow rate of four uh, CFM, which is cubic feet per minute. And actually the one that we we're about to buy at Harbor Freight for the same price, $130, was only three cubic feet per minute. So it's a good thing we didn't buy it from Harbor Freight. I mean, most of the time, it's so never mind. And it's also, ultimate vacuum is five Pascals, which I don't really, it's not really useful for me to know that, but it might be useful for you. So, in this video, we're going to try to operate the vacuum pump and we're going to do, use it on our um, Hyundai Santa Fe uh, in order to drain the pump, uh, in order to drain the AC system so that we can replace the compressor. Okay, so in order to use this pump, first we're going to put the pump oil in it. And according to the manual, you have to fill it to the bottom of the side glass, which, which is the minimum. Um, I might just add a bit more than that. So we have to remove this uh, entire exhaust fitting cap. Take the oil. Let's see if I have enough steady hands to put this in correctly. And after that, what we want to do is we want to take one of these inlet ports off, hook it up to the plug, and then turn it up. <laughs> Give me a second. Let me do this off camera. Okay, worst case scenario, we can just drain it, but let's pour this in. That's quite a lot of oil that we gotta add. I'm just doing this slowly because I'm not sure how fast it fills up. Oh, okay, there we go. So now you can see it start filling up. And we're gonna add a bit more just to put it above the minimum. There we go. Now we're going to hook it up to the electricity. And there's a switch on this, so it doesn't turn on as soon as you hook it up. Uh, we're going to use it on the black Honda, Honda, because it's not working, which means it should be a good test car for this vacuum pump. But after that, when we hook it up to electricity, we're going to take out one of the outlet ports and one of the inlet ports, put the exhaust fitting back on, and then turn it on. And after we can tell that the pump is running smoothly, just put one of the inlet ports back on. Okay. All right, so if you don't know, the purpose of this vacuum pump is to remove moisture from the system. It's not to remove refrigerant. And before you remove or you vacuum the uh, moisture out, you have to make sure that you drain the refrigerant first. Because this car is not working, there is basically no refrigerant in here and we've already drained the system just in case to make sure. So now we're just draining the moisture out. And 
I guess this also works out for us because we also have to replace the uh, compressor, which you're going to need this anyway. So right here we have the manifold gauge set, set up and we're going to attach it to the system. So let me locate the uh, low pressure, the high pressure outlets and put them on. I forgot to mention in my previous video that the rest of the refrigerant hose could actually be hooked up back here. So these hoses actually have a convenient storage place here. And so is this one. But I forgot to demonstrate that. So we're going to use the quick release valve and just put this on. There we go. Okay, so the high pressure hose is on. Let me just make sure on that one. Same thing with the low pressure. Put that on. That one's much easier. Okay, let me make sure both of them are closed right now. Uh, open right now. Let me make sure these are closed. Okay. And now we're going to take this end of the hose, this yellow hose, and we're going to attach it to our vacuum pump. Uh, most some pumps, they go, the uh, hose connects to the top. Looks like they're not the same inner diameter thread. I mean, if we tried it, it feels like it should be able to fit, but it doesn't. And plus they made this for, so that pretty much anyone can use it. So this is probably not the right place to put it. It's probably on the side. Maybe this makes more sense. As the gases are escaping through the top, you can see the vapor escaping. So it makes sense why the outlet port or, or like the inlet port that is open is not the one that's going through the side. But this one is attached right now. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to orient it like this. And then we're going to hook it up to the electricity. Before we operate this, we need to remove this cap right here. You say remove exhaust cap before operating. And let me just make sure, let me just check. It says to remove the, out, the inlet pump when you operate. When the remove, re replace the exhaust fitting cap and remove the cap from one of the inlet ports. Turn the motor switch to on. Why are we replacing this if we're gonna turn this on and removing the cap? Okay, so this is very odd wording. I'm going to assume that because it says remove the gloss cap for operating, we're just removing this entirely, keeping this on. And when it says remove the cap from one of the inlet ports, we're going to remove this one. I'm just getting caught up in the replace the exhaust fitting cap wording because why does this say remove it if we're going to replace it? But anyway, after we turn this on for 30 seconds, then we replace the cap on the inlet port. So nothing with the exhaust cap. Okay, anyway, let's give it a try. All right, because we're draining this from the system, we have to make sure that these are open. I'm guessing that when you open these, you're gonna, and when you start draining it, you're gonna start seeing vapors coming out from here. As the air goes through the system, circulates into the manifold, then out the refrigerant, uh, not out the, out this hose, right here. And I think that it comes out of this inlet right here, or maybe outlet would be a better word. And at, at this place, then you can attach another hose that uh, allows you to discharge the vapors into another tank. Uh, for now, we're just going to demonstrate what the air vapors look like when they're escaping. And let me open these. Right, and now let's give it a try. This is my first time running a pump like this. This is my first time draining the AC. So it might be imperfect, but that's all right. We'll see what happens. Ready? When the pump runs smoothly, we place the cap on the inlet port. Get away from here. Okay, you can see some vapors escaping. In case that's a bit of a great trick, you probably want to stand away from it so you don't breathe it in. And when you drain the system, you typically want to run it for about 45 to 60 minutes. So make sure you do it not when your neighbor's like 
active. Like they, they're not gonna get bothered by it. So probably not at nighttime. Maybe. And you also want to make sure that the uh, the pressure gets to negative 30, negative 29, negative 30. Um, and before it was about at zero. And now, as you can see, when it drained, it goes down to negative 30 on both sides. This one. Okay, you can both see in both sides. It looks like negative 30. You see that the vacuum pump is starting to slow down. Let it do its work for about 45 minutes. And when you come back, the system should be about fully drained. All right, so after that initial attachment and letting it run, it's very quiet. Originally, we were going to buy this pump from Harbor Freight, but reviews said it was very, uh, very noisy. Standing here now and listening to it, it's not very loud. So you probably won't even bother your neighbor if you're running this at like the dead of night. Uh, you can even feel the fan here. Maybe feeling around the entire pump, it's not even hot. So it looks like everything's okay. We don't know how long it's gonna last perfectly, but for now it's working. So uh, actually we're not going to uh, keep draining this car. We're actually going to drain the Hyundai uh, so that the um, so that we can um, replace the compressor there. We're actually going to replace the compressor over here, but while we, while we do another video on this car, which is replacing, I think we're also replacing the compressor here. <laughs> uh, so go check that out. While we're replacing the compressor here, we're going to let this um, pump run in the background over there. But anyway, I'm Ayman, and today I showed you how to operate, I, I, I unboxed and showed you how to operate this rotary vacuum pump from Viva Home. It's $130 on Amazon. We'll leave the link in the description down if you're, we'll leave a link down in the description if you're interested in buying it. But very simple operation, uh, very confusing wording on the manual there. They might want to uh, improve that, make it, maybe make it a bit more specific as to how the procedure actually goes. But that's all for now. So I'm Ayman and I'll see you next time. Signing out.